Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday, it's hump day, and we are going to be getting a full body fit by 15 session in, in a couple of seconds. So all you need today is a kettlebell or equivalent, just one weight, a chair, because you're going to need a little bit of stability help later on in the workout, and some floor space. Other than that, you're all good. So let me just mute myself here. So I've got my tune set up, I've got my space ready. I'm just waiting on you guys to come in and then we can get going into our workout. So where are we in the world? Give us a comment below, even if you're watching on record, that's fine, just give us a comment below, we'll still see your comments, we do get around to 99.9% .9 of them. If you have any problems or any questions about any of the technique, throw it up in the chat window, I've got it behind me on the screen, or behind you I should say, on the screen, so I can see what's going on, and if you have any questions as they come in, just throw them up on the screen and we'll uh, get you going. So by the end of the session today, we're going to have fairly hit the upper body from a push-up perspective. So you will be tight on the chest, on the shoulders, and on the triceps. And then we're going to be complementing that with full body movements afterwards. So it'll be 20 seconds on push-up work, 30 seconds on full body work, and then a 10-second breather in between. So get yourself set, get your equipment ready, and uh, we will get going in about 10 seconds into our warm-up. All right. So if you're here ready to go, stick yourself down on the floor. You're going to have your two feet hip width. And we're just going to collapse our knees left and right. Feel that twist going on on the middle lower back. Leaning back on the two hands. The clicks are just, the, clack, the clicks and cracks, Ronan. The clicks and cracks are just the ligaments returning back to their original state. So don't freak out, it's not bone. If it was bone, you would feel it. Okay, so from there, we're now gonna go down flat on our back, arms at crucifix, raising one leg up and across that body. And again, keep those shoulder blades flat on the floor as we draw the leg as far over as possible. We're trying to twist as much as we can. Alternate between left and right, raise leg, over we go. Bring it back and down and change. And keep those shoulder blades on the floor. The shoulder blades govern how low that foot gets to the floor on each side. So we're just trying to mobilize the hips, twist that spine as independently as possible. That's it, excellent. All right, so from there, knees bent, feet flat on the floor, keeping the shoulder blades back, drive the hips up into the sky, bridging. What is it with bridging? I always yawn whenever I'm doing bridging. Okay, so we're gonna go two legs driving into that floor. Get those hips as high as we can. Feel the stretch on the hamstrings. Feel, or sorry, the stretch on the quad, feel the contraction on the hamstrings and then the glutes at the top. Let's take one foot off the floor now and drive those hips skyward through the heel. And change legs. We're just waking up those glutes and change legs. Getting those glutes firing, getting those hamstrings firing. And change legs. And back to two legs, driving those hips as high as we can, down tip the floor, drive them back up as high as we can again. Okay, so now we're gonna do a V sit. So we're gonna hug our knees while we're on our back, and then we're gonna rock back up towards our head, and then roll forward. And as we roll forward, spread the feet out wide, and touch the floor in between. So we're gonna rock back, hugging our knees, roll into a seated position, spread the feet wide, and reach forward into that V that we've created with our legs. We're getting a nice stretch on the hamstring, but we're also rolling out that spine as much as we can whilst hugging our knees. Just bring a little bit more movement into the warm up. Don't overstretch it. We're just trying to get into the stretch and then back out. Keeping it dynamic on the hamstrings. Trying to get the forearms to the floor if we can. Every rep, we're just increasing by a millimeter or two trying to keep those legs out straight. Okay, one more, and then we're gonna flip around into the high plank position. Okay, best break dancer into the high plank position. We're gonna bring that left foot forward, and then rotate that left hand to the sky, down, change hands, change feet. Big rotation, down, change hands, change feet.
That's it, alternating between left and right. Okay, back into the high plank position. Feet hip width. We're gonna walk our hands in, tip our toes, walk our hands back out, and do a push-up. Gotta warm up that chest, triceps, and abs. Take your time. Nice work. Okay, and rest. Okay, up you come. Have your water nearby because you're going to have 10 second windows to grab a quick slug if you need it. Okay, guys, so we're going to be starting in 10 seconds' time. And we're going to be starting with blaster push ups. So, blaster push up is a push up where you get your chest on the floor. And then, after we've got our chest on the floor, we're back up to full extension of your arm. Push your butt back onto your heels, then come forward into your push-up again. We're going to go for 20 seconds, and then after 20 seconds, we are straight into 30 seconds of kettlebell swings, and we're going to bring a step in, a lateral step in, if we can. If you can't, just do regular swings. So we're starting in 10 seconds with our blaster push-ups. 10 seconds. So get yourself on the floor. High plank, knees if you need for the push-up, that's fine. But when you're pushing your butt back, you take your knees off the floor. Let's go. Chest on floor, back, butt to heel. Chest on floor, butt to heels. Take your time. There's going to be three rounds on this. And there's five variations on push-ups. We've got five seconds and we're onto the bell. Three, two, one. Up we get, onto our bell, into swings. Now, if you're comfortable swinging, at the top of the swing, bring one foot in to meet the other. So I am driving off my right heel, or sorry, driving off the right foot and bringing my left heel in to click my right heel. Seven seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest, bell down. You got your 10 second window? We're going into our second round in five seconds. Hit the floor, blaster push-ups. Three, two, one, let's go. Chest on floor, push butt back. Use the knees for the push-up if you need to scale it accordingly. Five seconds, we're back to our swings. Swing it, let's go. So the swing is, drive through the soles of the feet, standing tall, abs tight at the top, shoulder blades pinned. And only then, if you can bring one foot in to meet the other, do it. But do not sacrifice any of the technique. Three, two, one, rest. Woo. One more round. Okay, we're going blaster push-ups. Hit the deck, two, one, let's go. Remember to squeeze those abs as you push away from the floor with the whole palm of that hand. Five seconds, three. Up we get into our swings. Shoulders back, chest out. Head up. I'm alternating my step when the bell is at the top. And I'm making sure to keep the shoulder blades back and the abs tight. Next round, we're going to go into toe tap push ups. So we're going to do a push up chest on floor and then reach under right hand, left toe, back to our push up, and then left hand, right toe. Rest. Okay, toe tap push ups. Five seconds, hit the floor. Knees if you need them. Let's go. Chest on floor, up, reach under, touch your toe. And if you can't reach and touch that toe, touch your knee. If you can't touch your knee, touch your hip. By the end of the session today, we're gonna have five minutes solid worth of push-ups done. And up we get. We're onto our bell, we're gonna clean the bell and then go into a rear lunge. 
So the bell goes from the floor to the chest, and then when it's on the chest, rear lunge. Back to the floor, up to the chest, rear lunge. Full range of movement. That bell must touch the floor, and so must that kneecap. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, rest. Two more rounds, toe tap push-ups, followed by clean to rear lunge. Let's go, toe tap push-ups. Chest on floor between the hands, squeeze the abs, push away through the whole palm, and then reach under and hit the toe, or as close to as possible. Three, two, one, up we get. Clean to rear lunge, and there is no rest between your push-up and your kettlebell work. So we're trying to keep it to an absolute minimum. And with the clean, you're driving yourself away from the floor so aggressively that that bell wants to keep traveling to your chest. You're not pulling the bell onto your chest, you're steering it onto. Three, two, one, rest. One more round blaster, or sorry, toe tap push-ups. Feeling it now, five seconds. Hit the deck, let's go. Chest on floor, reach under, touch toe. Next time you find yourself in the push-up, it's gonna be side plank rotation with every push-up. Last set of cleaning, lunge coming up next. And up we get, clean it, lunge it. Aggressively exhale as you drive the feet into the floor and come upright. That'll ensure the abs are tight at the right time and they protect that spine. Seven seconds and we're into side plank push-up. Three, two, one, bell down. Hit the floor. Push-up into a side plank rotation. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Push-up, side plank. Back to push-up, other side plank. Stay in control. We're gonna go into snatch on the bell next. And if you can do a windmill movement in between, even better. Hope we get. So we're gonna snatch that bell from the floor, and then at the top, run that left hand down to the left foot, back up above, and to the floor again. Snatch it, and then a windmill rotation. So when you're doing your windmill, imagine the bell is a full glass of water. Keep an eye on it as you run your hand as low as you can down your leg and back up. Don't let the glass of water spill. Only go as far down as the um, leg or the arm will allow. Okay, bell down, hit the deck, push up with side plank rotation, and let's go. Take your time. Emphasis is on that technique, that full range of movement, and maintaining control. So don't just swing yourself into the side plank, move to lift, snatch the bell, that's our primary focus, and then if you can, do a windmill movement in between. But don't worry too much about the windmill movement if it's not happening. 10 seconds, and then we're into our last round on this. And rest. Okay, last set of push up to side plank rotations. Hit the deck. Oh, cable wire is driving me mad. Let's go. Push up, side plank. Push up, other side plank. And stay in control. If you need to put a foot in front for the side plank, then do it. Use the whole palm of that hand to maintain surface area control. Up we get. Snatch it and windmill. I'm having microphone issues. Keep it going, guys. 
So next time you find yourself in the push-up, it's going to be a push-up with a frogger jump. So every push-up is going to be finished with the two feet as close to the hands as possible, jumping like a frog. Three, two, one, bell down. Okay, one push-up, two feet jump forward, back into your push-up. Let's go. Chest on floor push-up, come out of the push-up, jump the feet forward and back, and then chest on floor again. We're then gonna go into a squat with the bell on the chest, a drop squat. Three, two, one, up we get. Feet together, bell on the chest. Trap door opens, we drop into a squat. Stand tall, feet together, drop into a squat. And what we're doing here is you're absorbing the energy on the way down. <sighs> Through those quads and those glutes. Seven seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bell down. Back to our push-up with a frogger jump. Five seconds. Three. Let's go. Chest on floor. Up, feet forward. Back, chest on floor. Feet forward. Take your time. Emphasis is on the full range of movement. Full surface area with the palms of those hands. Up we get, drop squat, feet together, trap door opens, we drop into it. Feet together, drop into it. Spread the feet as we're dropping, we're absorbing that squat. 15 seconds, 10 seconds, seven. Keep the knees out, heels down, rest. One more Frogger push-up. Woo! Five seconds. Three. Let's go. Chest down, up, feet forward. Six seconds. Then we're into our last set of drop squat. And up we get, drop squat. Bell on chest, feet together. Trap door opens, drop. 20 seconds, and then we're gonna go on to kneeling tricep push-up. That's where the elbows scrape the ribs. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Bell down, hit the floor, elbows scrape past the ribs, tricep push up. Three, two, one, let's go. So my elbows are squeezing my rib cage as I'm dropping my chest onto the floor between my two hands. By doing that, I'm keeping the focus on the triceps. It's gonna be single leg deadlift in four seconds. Three, two, one, up. This is where your chair comes into play if you need it. Bell in the right hand. Right leg goes back. Stand tall. Keeping those feet hip width when you're standing tall. Emphasis is on the posture. Don't let the bell pull you down. Nice work, guys. We're almost home. We got two more rounds of this and we're done. Tricep push-ups next. And... Rest, Woo. second last round. Hit the floor on your knees, two palms, fingers splayed, elbows tight, let's go. Keep the abs tight, despite the fact that the knees are on the floor. We're isolating those triceps massively. Six seconds, and we're back to single leg deadlift. And up, single leg deadlift, let's go. If you're struggling, that foot that goes behind you, keep it very lightly on the floor. 
Maintain posture on the shoulder blades. Maintain that tight ab squeeze you've got going on. 10 seconds. Don't let the bell pull you. You move the bell. Five seconds into our last set. And rest. Next time we're back at the single leg deadlift, we're gonna try and alternate each rep. Five seconds, hit the deck. Knees down, tricep push-ups. Let's go. Keep those hands in under the shoulders. Fingers are splayed. Elbows are tight to the ribs. Don't let them flare out. Full range of movement. 10 seconds. Four seconds, three, two, one. Up we get. I'm gonna alternate my single leg deadlift. So it's right back up, change hands. Left back up, change hands. If you're struggling, just regress. Bring a chair in for support. Lighten the load or decrease the range of movement. If you don't have a chair, put your heel or your toe very lightly on the floor behind you. Five seconds. And rest. Woo! There is your 15 minutes, guys. Okay. It actually flew by for me. I don't know about you. Let me know how you got on. Give us a comment. So if you're still here, we're going to go into a cool down. If you want to complement this, you have nine other workouts in your inbox if you're doing this Fit My 15 60 day challenge. Otherwise, you'll find a shed load of workouts on this YouTube channel. But if you want to complement with cardio, get out. The best treadmills outside the house. Okay, feet nice and wide. Soften those knees. Put the weight on your heels. Stick your butt out the back. Drop your hands to the floor. We are looking for a nice stretch on the posterior. It's the back of the body from the heels all the way up to the shoulders. And we're also slowing the heart rate down. And that's done with our breathing as well. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Slow it all down. Stretching out the calf area, up into the hamstrings, into the glutes, over into the lower back. Lower back into shoulder blades. Shoulder blades opening out. And in turn, telling the shoulder sockets to release their grip on the shoulders. And that in turn lets the hands just dangle, puppet style to the floor. Breathing in through the nose, out through mouth at all times. Getting the heart rate down. Okay, let's get a hip flexor stretch. So turn to your right, drop your left knee onto the floor. Two elbows on the knee, push forward. That was tough, but went quick. Got me out of bed, big smiley face. You're welcome. <laughs> Relax the shoulder blades, tip that knee forward, keep the heel down on the floor. Nice stretch on the hip flexor. And then also a little bit on the groin as well, hamstring. Relax into the stretch. Never push into a stretch. Relax passively into it. Okay, let's switch sides. Left in front, right on the floor. Two elbows on the knee in front. Tip the knee forward like a throttle. Keep that left heel on the floor. Don't let it raise. And we're looking for an emphasis on the hip flexor stretch. Top of the thigh on the kneeling leg. And there you have it, fit by 15. You're getting fit by 15 minutes a day. If you stick to 15 a day, full body sessions like this, after 60 days, you'll A, form the habit, B, completely overthrown that crappy lifestyle, C, have a decent base of strength, stability, fitness. Okay, up we come. It's 15 minutes, the length of a cup of coffee, hey? So I'm blue in the face. Big breath in through the nose, guys. Exhale out the mouth, and that is your lot. And the next time you see us live, we'll be in three days, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, yep. Um, Saturday, 9 a.m. But till then, keep an eye on your inbox on this YouTube channel for more videos. Have a good one, guys.